We're going to be working in Python today, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, user input. So where you type a prompt in that the uh, when you run the code, the computer is going to ask you a question, and you type something in, and depending on what you type, uh, the computer will give you some information back. And then we want to kind of have it where you can type it in again and again and again instead of running it once each time. So I'm going to define a variable user input. And this is going to equal input and the input function. And I'm going to type the, uh, the prompt here. We'll say type one for option one and two for option two. And actually, this is going to be a prompt that the computer is going to give you. Let me put a colon and a space after it so that it looks nicer when we run it. So real quick, let's run that. And before we, uh, before we do anything else, let's just run it and see what it's giving back. And to see what it's giving back, I'm just going to print the user input, the variable I named user input. Uh, let's see, let me save this, save it as, I guess, user input. I think I already have one saved as that. But, well, I like that. All right, so let's run our code. Unexpected indent. Oops, okay, I'm, I'm not actually in a loop here, so I don't need to indent over. So let's run our code. So it's giving me type one for option one and two for option two. So this bit of text here that was in between the, uh, those green things, it's displaying that. And now I get to type what I want. So I'll type a one, hit enter, and it prints back that the computer saw I typed a one in. If I hit F5 to run the code again, I can type a two in, and then it stops. Okay, so first thing, let's instead of it just typing back a one or a two, let's let's use if statements to uh, to have our code send back an option one or an option two. So whenever I whenever I enter a one, I want the computer to tell me you selected option one or I want the computer to tell me you selected option two instead of just returning back a one or a two. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna type if the user input is, forget if it's equal or double, we wanna compare it. So double equal I think compares. If user input equals the character one, then I want to print the text, you have selected option one. Before I do the other one, let's just verify that this works. So let me run my code. Unexpected indent. Okay, so I indented that. That needs to be back here at the same. This one here is now tabbed over twice, so I need to delete it back so it's executing under that if. Oh, goody. Oh, I forgot to close out my, uh, I have the little apostrophe to open the str uh, these characters. I need to put another one out here to close out, to close out that string. Okay, I have one for option one, two for option two. Um, I only have option one entered, so I'm gonna type a one, and then the computer sends me back, you have selected option one. So now that we got this works, we're gonna copy this little bit of code here paste it, and we're just going to change the ones to a two. Okay, so let's run that again. Type one for option one, two for option two. See if we hit a two, you have selected option two. Now the annoying thing is each time I run the code, I have to go over here and press F5 to run the code again, and it asks me to want to save it and then it basically, you only get one pass at this. So what I'd like to do is have this be multiple passes up until you say stop, stop doing this. So I'm gonna use a while loop and I'm gonna use a variable 
I'll call the variable again, and I'll set that equal to the character y. And then while the again is equal to, or is compared to the character y, I want it to execute all of this stuff. So I need to go through all of this stuff and I need to bump it over one tab so that all of this stuff is now executing inside the while loop and these prints need to be tabbed over one uh, so that they're executing underneath the if statements. So we say uh, again equals y while the again variable is when you compare it as long as it's compared to y and that's true it's going to go through and do this so at the end of this I need to uh, get another user input we'll call again and I want to see so I'm going to use input I want to see just do you want to run the code again, Y or N? And if you press Y, then again is still Y, so it'll run through the code again. If you press an N, then again is no longer Y, so it'll be N, and when you try to go through the while loop again, it'll say, oh, again is now, it's not equal to Y anymore, so we stop running the code. So we'll say run program again, and then to make, to, oops, I need to put my apostrophe there to turn that into text. not apostrophe quotation marks, turn that into text. Run program again, and we'll put y slash n to indicate, uh, to indicate what we want, the format that we want you to, to answer it. So let's see if this works. Type one for option one, two for option two, one. So it says, you have selected option one, run program again, yes or no? So let's say yes. Type one for option one, two for option two. Two, you have selected option two. Run it again, sure. One for option one, two for option two. Let's run one, selected option one. Run program again, let's say this time, let's say no. And now it exits and just gives me the little three arrows. So things like, uh, seems like stuff's working good. Um, we're gonna have you do a modified version of this uh, of this, we'll have you change some of the stuff around and build something kind of similar to it using these ideas. Okay.